Hey, today I've got another integral from MIT, integration B2023. Problem number nine, we have the integral of two ln x plus one, all multiplied times e to the ln x squared dx. That's kind of troubling, right? To have ln x all squared and the, and the exponent is pretty unusual. Well, what I want to do to start is I'm just going to actually distribute this, create two terms and see what we have. Okay, I like to do that first because it gives me a little better perspective on what we're looking at. The addition, it tells me a couple things, right? Now it says, clearly we can split this into two integrals with the addition, separating these two. Um, also it indicates, makes me think of the reverse product rule. Okay, because we have, this term is exactly the same. And then we have an ln x, which could come from this. So yes, reverse product rule would work nice in this case. I did it that way first, but I've done like 20 problems that way. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try to do it a different way using integration by parts. Okay, so going down that road, it will just make a minor adjustment. I just turned it into two integrals because it's gonna, because what I wanna do is just work on one of the, just focus on one of these integrals. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this one. Integration by parts, we'll use the DI method or tabular integration. So I'm gonna set up my table with two columns, one to differentiate, one to integrate. Well, you might think that's strange because we don't have two functions, but we can create a one easily, just multiplying by one. And what I want to do then is I'm going to integrate my one and we'll differentiate this e ln x squared because I don't because I don't really know off the top of my head how to integrate that so we can kind of like push the problem off and a derivative is usually easier. So we'll differentiate that. And then we'll just start and integrate one. So that's just going to be x. Derivative of this is going to be e ln x all squared. So we kind of use the chain rule twice because first we're going to have like the power rule. We're going to have um, on the exponent, we're gonna have two ln x, but then we need the derivative of ln x, which is gonna put this all over an x. All right, so then now let's look at what we've done. So the diagonal is gonna be part of our answer. So we know this part, we're gonna have x e ln x squared. Okay, so for this row being an integral, we're gonna have minus the integral of two ln x e ln x squared but these x's are gonna cancel, so I'm just gonna leave that off because that's one. We'll have a dx. And then going back to our original problem though, we don't wanna forget our other integral. So let's just add that on here so we keep track of everything. Because what's gonna happen is this integral and this integral are exactly the same. We're subtracting it off here. So this is gonna cancel this. That's all gonna be zero. And we're just left with this piece. So for our final answer, we have x e to the ln x squared plus c, and we're done. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.